because this is a little bit different from some of the previous sites uh, in that we've included both uh, sort of really mud areas together with uh, a sandy area where some recent de deposition of, of sand has taken place. Right? So as you can see, the, 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 the stream sort of rounds off here. So it's wearing into there, right? it's, it's cutting into there, but the uh, sand is being deposited on this side. Right? Yeah, obviously we've got the, the muddy actual mangroves uh, inside there. So there's a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a mixture of uh, two habitats and yeah. it's reflected in uh, what we have collected. I think two, maybe two interesting things that, that uh, maybe I would like to tell you about is that we found uh, corbicular, I think this is corbicular, I don't know, some of you may have uh, while digging into the uh, digging into the sand, some of the sandy areas, we found this black uh, blackish uh, bivalves like this. If some of you have 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 been eating Japanese food, uh, this is similar to the uh, what they call shijimi in, uh, in, in Japanese. Uh, we sometimes eat it together with uh, miso soup. Um, and, and actually, I, I, I've not come across orbicular in Singapore for a long time. Actually, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen them. So, so this is one time, first time in many years that I've seen them. So, so this is interesting. Uh, okay, then the second thing that we found interesting, uh, some interesting things that we found actually also in the sand, in the sandy area, was that we found some uh, what looks like uh, horseshoe uh, crab eggs. These are, these are the eggs of uh, Pasalloscopius, these, these things, right? And I, I think if you have, some of you may have seen National Geographic uh, 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 footages of, of, the, uh, of the Atlantic uh, relative, which is Limulus, right? and they lay eggs uh, in, 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 uh, in the sand in sort of uh, low energy beaches. Right in, in the Atlantic coast. Well, uh, I think the males have got a uh, grasping, grasping organ. I think they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, their pincers are uh, sort of inflated at the end, at the, at the bottom. So this is apparently to allow them to, to be able to cling onto the female. And as the female releases the the eggs, they, they would uh, fertilize them. Uh, as they, as, so then, then the females will lay the eggs in the sand. Oh, this is the female. Like their body yeah, this, <laughs> is the, this is the male. It's, you, you see that it's wait, wait, sort wait, wait. of inflated, I think. Together, please? Oh. I mean, I meant holding. <laughs> That's the baby, is it? No, I, I think these are probably already sexually mature, actually. I mean. Teenager. So, so, but but it's interesting to know that um, you know they are. I mean, it's common to see these adults in mud outside. For example, in Minchukang or in Kranji, you can see them in mud. But um, it looks like uh, they are laying eggs in sand, and, and and sandy places in the mangroves are not easy to, to come across actually. So all in all, I think I think uh, an interesting. A very interesting place. One side the industrial estate, right, and, and one side train, uh, train, <laughs> train. Uh, train track, and you know, in the middle, we've still got something to, to see. This is the first time this place has been surveyed. Oh, uh, people have. I mean, the, the zoologists and botanists have come here for various reasons for their for their own you know purposes, but um, for for a survey like this, uh, you know, where we look at everything, I think this is the first time.